Today's a super, super exciting day for me because I am going to be getting my first corals ever. So I started this saltwater tank a few months ago and at first I was going pretty fast with it. I got it set up really fast and got in habitats and everything. And then I just kind of paused and took a break. Nothing really has been going on here. And I gotta be honest, I'm terrified. <laughs> I'm terrified of corals. Like they really intimidate me. But I decided to just jump in and I got some pretty easy corals to start with and nothing too high end and expensive just in case this really doesn't work out. I'm just so excited, so let's do it. Okay, so there were some things that I wanted to do with the tank before the corals arrived and one of those things was to clean up a bit. You know, nothing too in-depth, I just did some quick maintenance like scrub the algae off of the glass and change the filter sock and stuff like that. I also rearranged some rocks that were bothering me just to kind of make more room. There's a few shells that are too small for the hermit crabs and there's some that they've never used before so I took those out as well. Hey, what's going on? Where are you taking those? I cleaned them already. They're mine. Yeah, and two of those belong to me. What's your problem, buddy? Do you want to fight? Huh? Do ya? Do ya? Do ya? Catch me outside, how about that? Oh, okay, I, I see, you're just cleaning around. Okay, my bad. We sorry. You, you may continue, human. You can go on. We'll just be over here, minding our own business. Anywho, excuse those grumpy crabs. <laughs> they just love to pick fights. So there's some rocks back there that I was never really happy with so I decided to try and take them out. Oh my god, like that was a huge 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 mistake. My heart dropped to my feet when this happened. The whole left side of the structure collapsed. That broke my heart. <laughs> Uh, I'm laughing, but inside I'm crying. <laughs> Luckily though, the crabs were way on the other side. So I had to basically restack the rocks and of course there was just no way that I was going to accomplish the same layout as before. But you know what? That's okay. So here's the before and after. So after this happened, I decided to just leave the tank alone. And I went to go pick up the corals that were finally here. Yay! Okay, so I am finally home and here is what we've been waiting for. We apparently have a leak because the whole box is wet and the people at the post office actually have to cover it with plastic wrap because it was just getting on the other boxes. So far, the seller that sold this to me, I, I'm not happy with him right now. So let's open it and hope that the corals are okay. And let's just, let's just cross our fingers. Oh my God. Look at this. My god so this is what the inside looks like and I'm not sure what's going on to be honest I don't know why there's all that water or which one of these leaked none of them look empty so we shall see okay so they're actually not packaged all that terrible Okay, this one just completely detached from the styrofoam, so it probably got a little bit beat up during the transit, so that's kind of really disappointing. And it looks really sad right now. It looks miserable. This one just looks really 
squished. So far, I'm not loving this. I feel like the seller could have done a better job packaging these. I'm kind of disappointed right now. And this one's actually, I think, oh, this is the bag that leaked. It's like dripping from here. And the bag is actually crushing the coral inside. So that's not very good. Actually, a bunch of these are leaking. This one's leaking too. Wow. Okay. Okay, so this is a kind of okay example of how these corals should have been shipped. So they stab them into some styrofoam so that even if the bag gets tossed around or turned over, it floats up. That way it doesn't get damaged or bumped into or none of that. So this is a good example of how the packaging like this should work out. I think the seller's only problem was he didn't tighten the tops enough and a bunch of them leaked. Some of the plugs actually came off of the styrofoam. So yeah, look, this one's just completely in the corner. Okay, let me just go ahead and get them out of the bag. So I'll give you guys a close up right now of what each one is, but here is all of them. I'm not sure why this was in there. Okay, we have some really weird stuff here in the very bottom. So we have these little thingies. I'm not sure what they are. There's a few of those in the bottom. And then this. And then the wet paper towel. Why? Okay, so ideally I would float these, but since the tops aren't very secure, I don't want the water spilling out of here and then getting into the tank. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some zip ties. So I'm gonna loop them through the rubber band like that. And excuse my nails, I haven't really had time to redo them. And then, slightly float them. Then I'm gonna take some tape and secure the zip tie. Like that. I'm gonna do that for all of these. put some gloves on because I did order some Zoas and you may or may not know how toxic they are especially if you have cuts in your hands and you touch them so um, I have cats so I always have cuts so yeah these are a total must for me I'm gonna go ahead and start from this side so I'm gonna go ahead and cut through the bag and here we go. We're gonna discard the water. And here we have the first of the corals. And I would tell you guys what it is right now, but I'm not really sure. <laughs> and I guess I won't be sure till it opens up. So let's go ahead and get them in.
you guys like you see that right there that is a freaking starfish it was in one of the corals I know I should have dipped the corals because I know there could be some dangerous hitchhikers in them but I'll explain why I didn't do it later on but how freaking awesome you know like there's a starfish I have a starfish <laughs> a really tiny one but I have a starfish I placed it in one of the rocks and it just kind of went on about its business. <laughs> Okay, so this one here in the front is a Monty. This one, this one, that one, that one, and the one in the back. Those are all zoanthids. The one in the back hasn't opened up like at all, so I haven't really been able to get a good look at it. So this one in the center is a clove polyp. Actually, I'll show you guys each one and what the picture of them looks like, like before shipping, and that's what they should look like again. So here's the picture for that one, and that's the one for this one, and for this one, and this is this one, this is that one, this is that one, and then this one right here is in the same exact one in the picture. Um, apparently the seller sent me another one, but it's still the same variety, and it's actually a little bit bigger, so I don't really mind. Okay, so let me explain really quick why I placed them all here in the bottom of the sand bed instead of like where they're supposed to go. There's actually a two-step process to acclimating corals. Step one is acclimating the water and temperature and what, like we, what we did earlier. And then step two is you have to acclimate them to the lighting. So for example, this Monty right here, I actually want up here in the bridge, but I can't place them right there right now. I have to actually slowly acclimate him and move him up to the light. So that's why they're all down here. So I'm kind of really disappointed because I wanted like one of my first corals to be a pulsing zinnia. I think they're so beautiful and like the movement is just amazing and I think it would have added like really nice movement into the tank. And so the person that I bought these corals from told me that they had it available. Uh, I mean the whole reason why I bought from him was because he had those. Like I've been looking for those like crazy zoanthids and the pulsing xenia like these are really the only two corals i was really looking for so i was looking at the frags that he had available and out of all of them these are the ones that caught my attention because price as you can see i didn't really buy like super high-end corals these are pretty basic yet i still wanted something really vibrant to add color into this tank because right now it is looking bad so he had zoanthus and he had the zinnia. So he told me that if I bought all of these, that he was going to include the posing zinnia frag free of charge. So I was really excited. You know, I was getting my zoanthus and I was getting the posing zinnia exactly what I wanted. And then after the unboxing, I was very disappointed that there was no zinnia in there. <laughs> and then later today, the seller actually messaged me to tell me that he forgot to include the zinnia. Like, I don't know, maybe he did, but it sounds kind of fishy. Like, why did he wait so long to tell me? Like, why didn't he tell me yesterday right after he shipped out the package? So he pretty much lied to me. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be buying from him in the future. And it was, and it was also a really nice surprise, like the starfish. Like, you guys, I have a freaking starfish in here. So after a quick search on Google, I'm pretty sure it's a brittle starfish. So that's awesome. I wanted to also mention that I know I should have dipped the corals just in case there was anything on them. But I bought these out of nowhere and there's no place locally that specializes in salt water or anything. So I would have had to buy the coral dip online and it would have gotten here after the coral. So there's really no point. And I really hope I didn't introduce anything harmful in here. I'm just kind of keeping my fingers crossed. Hopefully this won't come back and bite me in the butt. So yeah, I guess that 
is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for joining me today and coming along on this soft water adventure with me. I am so excited and I'm terrified and wish me luck with these. Thank you guys so much for watching and also don't forget to check out my online store. We have really awesome t-shirts and other stuff available. I'm about to fall <laughs> and other stuff available. With that being said, have a good day, organize, and I love you guys. Bye! I'm sorry about the purring right now, but one of my cats is here with me right now while I am trying to do this voiceover, so yeah, I apologize. <laughs> this is why I don't like doing voiceovers. I get too many interruptions. <laughs>